Hello everybody, Hassania from Galaxy Invest. Just a reminder, this is not financial advice. Please do your own research. So today I woke up, my Twitter feed basically blew up from all the notifications I got from CRISPR Therapeutics latest data update. So they basically released this press release at I think it was like 8.30 or 9 a.m. Eastern on Saturday, which we are the 10th April. And basically, this press release is what I'm showing on the screen. Um, and they basically mentioned that CRISPR Therapeutics presents preclinical data at AACR 2021 supporting CD70 knockout has a novel approach to increasing CAR T cell function. Right? So, and then they go on to uh, basically, uh, this is maybe the most important line. Um, the data presented today in the e-poster ses session entitled, yeah, okay, found that the generation of CAR C cells, including a knockout of CD70, showed improved property, including potency and persistence over CAR T cells where the CD70 gene remained intact. So the e-poster session that they're talking about, it's basically just a, a PowerPoint slide, right? And this slide here, I, I'll link this in the description below, guys. Uh, I'll link it. But for anyone that's interested, please do look into it, especially if you are familiar with some of these terms, if you actually work in this industry, or if you have knowledge of how you know of some of these specific terms uh, represent. I highly recommend you guys to look over this and maybe share some of your observations in the comment, guys. I think it would have everyone including those who are basically investors but don't really really necessarily have the knowledge uh the technical knowledge as we uh want to term it but basically what they're showing is a few nice graphs here with some nice descriptions but most importantly they basically saw that there's a way to basically augment the car t cell function right so this is more for specifically ctx 130 which is one of their three programs in their uh, CAR T program, which is uh, um, basically those uh, that the program I mentioned in the previous video that addresses some of the uh, solid tumors that we talked about. Um, so maybe this will be a great opportunity for us to go and visit this page. This is from Chris Therapeutics page, uh, and immuno oncology page, and basically here. They basically explain that there are current and slash legacy ways of addressing um, CAR T, CAR -T uh, cell therapies, but uh, as you can see here, as I highlighted, is that it could take several weeks to manufacture during which many patients experience disease progression. Right, so there's a really nice uh, graphic here that basically on the top here, this is how the current ways of doing things through the um, through uh, CAR C CAR T uh, cell therapies are, are being done. Uh, and this is what the FDA have approved in the past, and this is how it's being done. This is how CRISPR Therapeutics and other companies in this space are looking forward uh, for right. They're looking for a allogenic, healthy donor derived um, way of doing things, where you can clearly see that there's no delays here, right? You can basically insert a treatment for any of these patients without that long, long delays, right? We're looking at immediate availability, increased potency, greater consistency, improved access, flexible dosing. So we're looking at reduced cost, less delays, faster to treat, right? We're looking at, these are all characteristics that are very important, especially when you talk about patients with some of these tumors, I think this is a uh, quite, quite important. You know, solid tumors are deadly, right? Patients literally die from cancer, right? Cancer is the second leading, um, source cause of death in us alone. Right? So big, big, big program. Um, and today's update basically just let everyone know that, Hey, we have, if I go back here, hey, we have a way of improving CAR T cell function. You know, this news, you know, just a quick analogy, although it's not really along the same lines, it reminds me of the news we got from Antilia 
um, over a week ago when they announced that they're implant implementing one of the base editing programs hopefully they will implement it uh, in their press release they mentioned that and i think when you see these types of announcements these types of press release you see things are going positive right these are positive news from the company you see that they're looking for ways to improve car t cell function right these are data that they got just like what we were looking at here uh, this is data that they got, solid data proving their thesis, right? They have a better way of doing things. And I mean, for anyone that's aware in this space, things are moving very fast. Things are changing very fast. But ultimately, if you have a way to improve efficiency, if you have a way to reduce costs, if you have a way to do all that before going mass market, this is just a big positive, right? Think of like, going think of like delivering a real like think of like tesla being able to like work on their model 3 for example the model 3 car uh, and having that cushion to to basically work on it before it's released on the market right so although they do have to release it to the market and sell as many cars that they can they can they have this ability to work on it and find better efficiencies and and reduce cost and ultimately reduce any sort of delays before it does hit the market mass market because as we know if it's fda approved things are going to be very very hard the guys it's going to be very very hard um, to change any any sort of procedures any sort of protocols um, and having this type of data to me this is a big big positive because you see that the company is finding ways to improve the way they're doing things in this case specifically the ctx 130 program but this is quite interesting guys very positive very great news uh it wasn't necessarily what i was expecting like you may have seen from the previous video that we released uh, i was sort of expecting some sort of actual positive data for the other programs ctx uh, 110 ctx 120 in terms of like how the patients are doing for example um but it is what it is. This this type of news is very good news. I think this is re really really great. I really really advise anyone to to look into this uh, paper that I will link in the description below. Just to remind you guys that this uh, there's a lot of potential from this uh, this cell therapy that they're trying to um, they're trying to go mass market with. Right? They're still in preclinical. It's still a little bit early compared to CTI 001 but things are looking great for them i mean just look at you know just look at some of the cts130 which is what the e-session was about today marks a transition from hematologic to tumors ctx130 targets cd70 and antigen express on both hematologic cancers including certain lymphomas and solid tumors including renal cell carcinoma following on these protocols programs we plan in both we plan to use both novel targeting and advanced editing to develop gene editing cell therapies to treat numerous of other cancers guys this is really big right this program is big right this is what we're all looking for this is actually a wholly owned program from CRISPR therapeutics there are other companies in this space tackling this uh, car t such as uh antelia we mentioned that in the past but uh, having these types of results guys very very bullish. I'm extremely excited for this. This looks really good for the company I'm really happy. They basically came out today and gave this announcement. Uh, this data slide was presented um, To me, this is great. This looks like we're getting good positive data. There's ways to improve what, how things are being done and ultimately um, Our plan here ultimately as investors is to know um, That okay sure they have these programs in their pipeline but how are these programs going? What is the company thinking about each of these program? Is there ways to improve things even though uh, things are looking good? How can we make them even better? This is how you push boundaries. This is what a good leadership of a company really does of an organization, right? Although you're in a good position financially, which CRISPR Therapeutics is, um, what are the ways they can improve, right? And this is, this slide clearly represents that it's like hey we have a better way of doing things for ctx uh, 130 and we believe this can augment 
CAR T cell function. So very interesting, guys. I'll end this video like this. I don't want to ramble on for today. This is Saturday night. I really, really hope you guys had a great Saturday. I know I did. A great sunshine outside. I hope all of you had some good time so far. It's just Saturday. You still have Sunday. So hopefully you guys have a good weekend. And please do like and subscribe. Uh, really does help the channel. We've been getting a lot of subscribers. Uh, likes have been are coming um, in our videos. So I really appreciate it, guys. So we'll see each other in the next video. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll uh, we'll see each other. So thank you very much. Have a good have a good night and a and a good weekend. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.